Hello and welcome to this video on the surface area of cuboids and non-curved solids. Now when we say the surface area of a solid, if I was to just draw a cuboid for example, and let's just say I made this length 5 centimetres, and I made this length 2 centimetres, and I made this length 4 centimetres, the surface area means the total area of all the different faces of that 3D solid. And another way of thinking about it is that if I was to draw the net of this solid, then the area of this net would be the same as the surface area of this solid. Because we found the area of all these different regions here, that would be the same as the area of all the different faces of this 3D solid. Now let's look at the different faces in turn. Let's say we were to take the front first. What's going to be this area? So the surface area, I just use SA for short. Well, we can see that's a rectangle. And that's just going to be 5, the width, times the height, which is 4, and that will be 20. But notice we've got the front, which is 20 centimetres squared. The back face, this face here, would also be 20 centimetres squared. So we've got another 20. And now what about this right side here? Well, that's going to be 2 times 4, which is 8. And that means, if that is 8, that face there, you can see this rectangle here, must also be 8 because it's the same rectangle. And then finally, well, we've got the top, and that's going to be the width times the height, so the width of 5 times the height of 2, so that is 10, and then we're going to have another 10 at the bottom. And in total, that gives us 76 centimetres squared. So to summarise, to find the surface area of a solid at the areas of all the faces. So let's use that to find the surface area of these various solids here. We want the surface area of this, let me just copy it out. So that's five centimeters, we got 10 centimeters and three centimeters. Now the surface area is going to be the areas of the top and the bottom. So the top would just be 10, because that's 10 times by that length, which is three, so that is 30. And then we've also got the 30 at the bottom. And then we've also got uh, the right and the left side. So this rectangle here, that would be 3 times that height there, which we can see is 5, so that would be 3 times 5, which is 15. And then we've got another 15 for the left face there. And then finally, we've got the front and the back. So this front face here is going to be 10 times 5, which is 50. And then we're going to have another 50 for the back. And adding those together, gives us 190 centimetres squared. What about this second one here? We've got a more complicated shape now, so if I just draw this out. Now firstly, we should probably find the area of this rectilinear shape here. So we've got this 12 here, and we've got this 8 here. And we know, well, if that's 8, that's got to be 8 as well. So we've got this is 8. And if that's 5, that's got to be 5 as well. So this is 5. So if I was to just split this, like this, you could have split it like that as well. We can see this area here is 8 times 8, which is 64. And then, well, if that length is 8 and that length is 12, this length here must be 12 minus 8, which is 4. So that length is 4, which means this area here is just 4 times 5, which is 20. And then I'm going to just draw the area on each of these different faces here. So we've got this breadth here is going to be 3. So we've got the area of the top, 3 times 8, which is 24. And then we've got this length here. Well, if that length is 8 and that length is 5, then that length must be 8 minus 5, which is 3. So that is 3. So this rectangle here is going to be 3 times that length, which is 3, so that's going to be 9. And then this rectangle here, well, it's going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. Then we've got this rectangle here, which is 5 times, well, that's the same as that, 3, so that is 15. And now we've just got the left face left and the back and the bottom as well. So this left face here, which we can't see, we can see is 8 times 3, that rectangle, so that's going to be 24. And then we've got the bottom face, that's a rectangle of 12 times 3, which is 36. And then we've got the back, 
which is going to be the same as the front, we can see that's in total 84 there. So we now just need to add all of these together, and that gives us an area of 204, and these were all in centimetres, so it's centimetres squared. And then finally, we've got this triangular prism here. Now, the area of this front triangle, well, we know the area of a triangle is just half times the base times the height. So half times the base of 12 times by the height, and that is 30 centimetres squared. So I like to write it on the face itself in a circle, so that's 30. And that means the back is also 30. And now we've got these other three faces. So we've got this flat face here, we've got the bottom face, and we've got the back face as well. So let's do the, this back face first, because that's relatively easy. Well, that's a rectangle where the length is 7 and the height is 5. So that's going to be 5 times 7, which is 35. And then we've got the bottom face, which is 12 times 7. That's 84 centimetres squared. And then finally, we've got this kind of sloped face here. Now, we know that the length of that rectangle is 7, but we don't know this length. But we can work out this length using Pythagoras on this triangle here. So if we concentrate on that triangle, we've got 12 here, we've got 5 here, and let's just call that x. And the way that Pythagoras' theorem works is that we can say if we take one of the shorter sides squared plus the length of the other shorter side squared, that gives us the hypotenuse squared. So we've got 5 squared plus the other shorter side squared, and that is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is x squared. Now, 5 squared plus 12 squared is 169. And then if we square root both sides, we get x is equal to 13. So we know that this length is 13. We can put that on the diagram. And now we can finally get the area of this rectangle at the top. It's 13 times 7, and that is... 91. So that is the top. And if we just add those together, the surface area is, we got the 30 plus the 30 at the back, plus the 84 plus the 91 plus the 35. And that gives us 270 centimetres squared.